That was a hit. Yep. G'day guys and welcome back to day two of my Gippsland adventure. Morning guys. Back out with Jason again. And this morning we are on the Nicholson River. Now we're just in a little bit of bait getting harassed. And uh, yeah, we're probably gonna start flicking some plastics, hard bodies, maybe some vibes as well. And hopefully we can find some brim, maybe even a good flathead this time. We'll see what happens. Oh shit, there you go. Some kangaroos there. That's a big one there, there's the second one. Beautiful. Four, four skippies going for a bit of a run. He's back off the plane now and just plowing. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. There we go. First fish. Beauty. Oh, a little brim, I think. A little brimbo. I'm guessing. Oh, he's digging in. Digging well, he might be alright, actually. He's fighting hard. Oh. Yeah, geez, he's really digging in on me here. Yeah. There he is. Is it a brim? Yeah, a trevally. Little trevally. Little trevally. Oh, yeah. There we go. Blood wound rough. Yeah. There you go, beauty. Little silver trevally there, guys. It's my first one in Victoria, actually. In the morning sun. Beautiful little fish that. So we'll just get the hook out. Oh, don't drop him. There you go, one more look. Grunting away. Alrighty, off you go bud. See ya mate, thanks for the fight. Plenty of them up in New South Wales. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Yeah, I've got snags. <laughs> I think there's another trolley. Kick, oh, kick, kick. Yeah. Digging in, kick, kick, kick on his side. Yeah, that's another trolley, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. A few trebs here. Oh. Oh. Good fun on this pinwheel, I can tell you that. And the, uh, the Stella. Whoa! No, he doesn't want to go in the net. I think he might be a bit bigger than the last one. He looks a bit bigger. There must be a little school of them just up there. There he is. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Not by much, but definitely a little bit bigger. Beautiful little trevally, that. Get the hook out. Just trying to get the hook out. One more look, guys. Beautiful fish. Grunting away. See you, mate. Thanks for the fun. Alrighty. Just trying yeah, to find one. It's not too bad. A couple of knots. Hey? A couple of knots.
Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Oh. Oh, come on. That wasn't working well. Oh, yeah. Grim. I think it's no, probably another Trev, I reckon. Yep. Yep. Another Trev. You scraped things away, mate. Yep. Blood worm. Just call me Trevor. <laughs> Another Trevally guys. We're having Trevally Fest here today. You're grunting away again. They all make that grunt sound. Let's try and get this hook out of this gob. There we go. Beautiful little silver trolley there. Nice little black spot on the gill plate too. You've got those scoots on the tail there. So, see you bud. No, they uh, seem to be quite partial to it. So. grubs. Number one selling plastic. Very versatile. Yeah. Well, they're one of my very first soft plastic videos that I did. I was selling, like, you know, people ask me what should you should, should I use. I'm like, grubs. Like, if you're starting out grubs, everything eats them. They're easy to work. That tail's always flapping around. Yeah, it's just the colour. You've got to choose, yeah? Yeah. Motor oil. Motor oil, not oil, um, budworm. Yep. Gudgeon, watermelon. Yep. They seem to be the main ones. Yeah, I always tell people, if you don't know what to get, just get two and a half inch motor oil grubs. Yeah. Like, that's... Good starting point. I reckon the budworm and the gudgeon, mate, can sometimes work on their own. Yeah. Why? What? He just oh. went out, he just dive bombed after my lure. Little bastard. <laughs> Like he didn't get tangled in my line. Mm. I mean, like even if you're buying, say, fresh fish from like the commercial guys, by the time that they bring it in, process it, do all that stuff with it, it's going to be at least a couple of days old. You'll yeah, have an extra cool. 24 hours on it. Yeah. There we go. There you go, mate. Another Trev, possibly. Oh, this is a brimo, I think. There's no hit shakes. Or a big flatty, maybe. Where's your net? Taking a bit of line on you. Yeah, I might have to um bit of Hollywood drag, mate. Definitely not. Well, I've got your net here. Ooh. Maybe might be the flatty we're after. I hope so. What was that on? Motor grub. Beautiful. Yeah, I reckon that's a flatty. I reckon it's a flatty, mate. Yep, I reckon it's a big flatty. Well, it could be a nice brim. Come on, get out. I can't see any silver. Flatty. Big flatty? Yep, just seen it. Come around your other side here, mate. Yep. I think we've done a bit of a swap today. I think. I was getting the numbers and now you're getting flatty. the quality. Yeah, I think it's a flatty brim. Yeah, it is. I just want to get him out of there, get him into the deep water. I'm pushing the drag off. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, plenty bro. Beautiful. He's giving you some grief, mate. Yeah. Um, got a nice close up of the reel there. Jesus, give me some. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. That's a nice fish, mate. There he is. Yes, there, there you go. go. Look at that. That's a beautiful flathead, mate. Look at that. That's what we come for. That's what we came for yesterday. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well done, man. Look at that. Thank you for the net shot. Look at that. Yeah, let's get a good close up of him, eh? I don't know if you. That's a beautiful flathead. I don't think he's going to beat your PB. PB? No, I don't think so, but. Um... That's a great fish, mate. In the top of that tackle box is that tape measure. Yeah, I've got the brag mat, which will. Oh, brag mat, yep. Just uh, keep away from those spines. Yeah. See if I can get those. That's yeah. exactly what we're after. 
nice good size flatty. Yeah. Well, I've got the target species for the weekend, mate. Mate, that's what we're after. Yeah. Now, where was it yesterday? <laughs> Probably here. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We should have come here, mate. Yeah. Nice and thick, too. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Thanks, mate. Not a problem. Let's get a... Uh... Yep. Yeah, I'll get you a photo of him, mate. We'll get a length on him first. Look how thick he is through the body as well. Yeah, he's nice and thick. Really, really thick and solid. Yeah. Thumb in the mouth, mate. There we go. Oh, he's close. He's probably just over yeah. 50, I reckon, but... Amateur hour, what, mate? Jeez, he's solid. He's a lot of weight in him. Yeah, pretty much on the 50. I'll give him 51. 51? Give me 51, yeah. mate. That's still good, man. It's still a good, still a good croc. That is a really good flathead, mate. You're going to be very happy about that. Yeah. yeah. Give you another fist bump on that one, mate. Thanks. Another one. Not, not the 61 that we used to. No. The other day. Oh, oh, look at that. Well done, mate. That's great. Oh, well, here we go, man. Boom. We'll go That's a what? third fish bump, mate. It's go worth again, it. Yeah. That's a good fish. Yeah. It was just a small, lightest, slightest tick, too. Yep. It was, and that was it, mate. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. What's it feel like, mate? I don't know. Brim, brimish, maybe? Brimmy. A bit brimmy. What I'll do is I'll... No, flatty, flatty, good flatty. Flatty? Yep. Uh, I'll get out, man. Just try and keep him... Yep. No, he's ready. He's ready. Right there. Yep, got the net. Another one, eh? Yep, another one. Good thump on it too when you hit it. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'll try and get out, mate, get away from the edge. Yep. Oh, that's a good fish too, mate. Look at that. Oh, there that, you go. That could be. Hang on a second. Look at him swim. What a beautiful fish. Shaking head. Yeah, I'll get him away from the structure. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Maybe I'll do your drag a little bit, mate. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit tight. Yeah, it needs to run. Yep. Alright, so Got, now... Get the net. Yep. That's a good flatty, mate. Whoa! Here we go, the net. It does not like the net at all. That's a nice fish, That's a good man. fish. That might be bigger than yours, actually. So. Yes! That's a cracker of a flathead. He's a good flat. He's a that's, good one, that's mate. That's a good one, mate. I think that might be bigger than yours. I'm very, very sorry about that. Well done, man. Look at that. Told you that. Boom. One. Yep. Beautiful. You said one more between the bridges. We didn't yep. have to go that far. Well, there you go. Pretty much in the same spot, man. Yep. We yep. just got mine. You just keep peppering in between this. These two, in between these two snags. Keep peppering this edge, I reckon. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Alrighty. Let's uh. Let's get a measure. Ow! Oh, jeez. Flatty yeah, thumb. There you go. Flatty thumb. I reckon that's going to be a bit bigger than yours, mate. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that's, yeah she was going through the water, man. That Let, was... Give me some with grips, mate. It's just... Yeah. No, no, no on, the, on the back there. Yeah, on the back there. Yeah. Come here, big girl. Look at the shorts on it, man. Yeah, she's right. Yeah. Oh. Hang on a sec, mate. So, that's wrapped around in there somewhere, mate. That's all right, we'll figure it out once uh, we get her back. There we go, 58 centimetre. Nice dusky flathead there. Come on. That's all right. We'll That's go, all right. Girl. We measured her, she's 58. So you've confirmed it, so. It's 58 centimetres. Well, there we go, guys. We've got a 58 centimetre dusky there. 
we were trying to get this from tyres yesterday and we had no luck with finding any. We were just finding good brim. But today, great success. I'm very happy about that. Well done, mate. So let's just get her back. Yeah. Full of beans, eh? Yeah, she is, eh? She wants to go. Yeah. Off you go. Oh, 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 look at her go. Nice. Mate. Thank you. Well Thank done, you mate. for the net job on that, mate. I'm so happy about nah, that. No worries, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah, mate. Finally got your target species, mate. Well done. And a good, mate, I haven't caught good a, croc. I haven't, I haven't caught a, a dusky in that long. So I'm really happy to get that, mate. It's nah. made the trip well and truly worth it. So. Well done, mate. I'm glad. I'm glad I got it for you. Alrighty. Awesome. All those guys are doing down the centre before just teabagging the vibes with the drift. That's probably not a bad way to find fish, actually. Yeah. You'd probably find a few doing that. That deserves a snag. Hey? <laughs> or I'll put the plastic and so that deserves, deserves a snag. Yeah, does, yeah. <laughs> no fish. <laughs> There we go. Wait, no. No, little brim, I think. No, a little brim, tiny brim, I think. Finally. Little brimbo. Yeah. Yeah. Bloodworm's been kicking ass today. Yeah, it's definitely been doing the job. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, little brim. Yeah. Nice little brimbo. Yeah, well, there That's you go. Right. Bloodworm's been. That is alright, actually. It's not a yeah, bad it's not brim. Too bad, yeah. Yeah. If he's just about up, legal too. size. It's nice and clean. Yeah, nice silver colour. Yeah. Huge hook up. Yep, right in the corner of the jaw. That might be the goodbye fish for today, I reckon, because we're so. just about done. Yep. All right, buddy, see you later. Off you go. There we go, guys. Great session there on the Nicholson River today. Not the hugest amount of numbers, but better than tyres yesterday. Yeah, that's wrong, yeah. And uh, genuine soft plastic day today. So we're just going to go through the gear I was using. Jason? Yeah, the TD Zero. One to three kilo with a MQ Solar 2000. Yep. And uh, yeah, button, uh, the motor roll rub in 2.5 inch. Yep, and I had the Palms Pinwheel, one to four kilo, six foot nine, Stella FK 1000. And I was just using two and a half inch Z Man uh, grubs in the bloodworm colour, one twelfth of an ounce. Yeah, which creamy today, on the, it beat the actual, beat the motor roll today, and I was sort of doing a bit of a test. Um, that bright sunny days, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, bright sunny days, motor oil doesn't do as well, where um, it does it on your uh, overcast days and your darker days, where your natural colours like your blood worm, probably your gudgeon, that will probably work a bit better on bright days like today. Yep, for and, sure. And uh, that has actually proven, proven, uh, proven that to me today, so yeah. Yep, that's a good day's fishing. So guys, we've got the Trevally, a couple of little brim, and a couple of stonking flatties. Beautiful flatties, mate, yeah, yeah, yep. no, really good, really good for here. Yep. Hoping to get uh, hoping to get one or two more, but didn't um, yeah, didn't come to fruition. So, yep, but they're here, and um, yeah, they're here for next time for anyone who wants to come and give them a crack. So yeah, yep. I mean they're not in numbers, but they're but they're quality fish at the same time. And um, yeah, had to work for them, but we got them. So and we actually got our target species for the weekend, which we're pretty happy about. So yeah, definitely happy, mate. Yeah, so man. guys, click us a like, click us a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys.